As NASA prepares to return to the moon with its Artemis program, the space agency also is setting its sights further out. The next stop is Mars. Now, we can't send people to the Red Planet just yet, but NASA is getting in some practice. Joy Addison joins us live from Houston with more. Joy? Brian and Jamie, that's right. In June, four volunteers from outside of NASA, but with backgrounds in science and engineering, will start their mission on Mars. But it's happening right here at the Johnson Space Center. Inside of the Mars habitat, the crew members will eat, sleep, and exercise just as if they were in outer space. So we're moving from near Earth orbit or low Earth orbit to further missions further away from Earth, we really need to understand how we're impacting crew health with more limited resources. NASA's Moon to Mars exploration started with missions like the Artemis launch and continues with this Mars simulation habitat. It's about the size of a three to four bedroom house and will be used for NASA's longest analog mission to date, 365 days. It's an isolation and confinement mission for a year with a crew of four. We're putting in realistic simulations they're going to be doing realistic Mars tasks. They're going to have a lot of uh, exploration activities in our sandbox, which will be more Mars realistic. From the sand to the 3D printed walls, this Mars habitat will be a place where the volunteers will practice their personal hygiene and health care, like drawing blood. They will also exercise, grow food, and collect geology samples. We are going to be measuring their performance, their cognition, their health over that year to really understand and make sure that we're supporting it. And then that information we can take and give to the vehicle planners. This area will soon be packed with all of the supplies that will go to Mars. But there is one area of life on Mars NASA couldn't simulate. So we are not able to simulate the Mars gravity. So what we've created here is um, a space where we can simulate uh, virtual reality spacewalks or Mars walks also simulate a variety of other um, expected tasks that we might see on Mars, such as geology, uh, removing dust from your spacesuit or solar panels uh, to repairing the habitats. Once they're here, the crew members will go through training. That's very similar to if they were preparing for an actual mission to Mars. They'll have limited contact with family and friends while they're living in the habitat, and they can opt out at any time. So just in case, there are two extra crew members who are also being trained. In Houston, Joy Addison, Fox 13 News.